guys, I'm Laurie Vitale, and on this episode of Laurie in the Kitchen, I'm sharing with you one of my childhood classics that I ate a lot. Um, this was actually something that was made very often around Easter, and it is just ziti or any kind of pasta with sausage and artichokes, which sounds odd, but it really is delicious, and it requires just a handful of ingredients. But use the right ones, the best one you can get your hands on, and it really makes for an exceptionally delicious plate of pasta that um, I can vividly remember eating this in the back of my nonna's house in the springtime uh, with my nonna and his glass of white wine. It's just, it's so good and it's so easy. And the ingredients are going to be very few. Start off with some really good Italian sausage, just as the best you can afford, not spicy, you want a mild. And I just took off the casing. And what I have here are some artichokes that were in brine. And what I did is I drained them, I roughly chopped them, just kind of cut some in half so they were smaller pieces and I have it on paper towels to just absorb the extra liquid. I've got some ziti because that's what I grew up eating, but you can use any pasta you like. Garlic, parsley, butter, salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil, and lots of parmigiano. And the first thing you want to do is get your big pot, fill it with water, a generous sprinkling of salt, bring that up to a boil. What I have here is a skillet with high sides with some olive oil, and I have that over about medium high heat, and I'm going to add my sausage. You want this to be hot. Now, there's not going to be a whole lot that makes a sauce. It's just the whatever renders from the sausage and um, the little bit of butter and some sachet cooking water. That's what makes the sauce. And it's just so good and it coats the pasta so well. And all I'm doing is breaking up the sausage with my wooden spoon. It doesn't have to be in like perfect little crumbles. You can make some bigger than others. It's up to you. I'm just going to break this up and I'm going to let this cook until it develops a really beautiful color all around and then we'll move on to the next step. This is looking fabulous. You want all that color. And now I'm going to add my artichokes because you want to get these really crispy as well. I'm going to add those right in and I'm going to cook these at the same temperature about between medium and medium high. I want these to develop good color as well. And now this is the perfect time to add the pasta to the boiling water because this all together is going to take like 10 more minutes to finish up and that the pasta will be ready by then. So I'm going to put this in and then meet you back here to add the garlic and everything else when the time comes. Now this is looking exactly how you want it. You see how the artichoke is getting really crispy around the edges. That is what you want. This looks perfect. The pasta has like another two minutes to go. I'm going to add my garlic now. And then I'm just going to let, I turn the heat down a little bit to medium because it was on like almost high heat. And I'm going to let this cook for just a couple of minutes. In the meantime, drain your pasta but reserve a little bit of the starchy cooking water, like a cup or so, because that's again going to be the sauce. So you want to make sure you reserve that. I'm going to go drain it and get ready to put the whole thing together. Okay, now I'm going to add in my butter because that's going to be a part of the sauce. I've got my pasta here that I drained. Let that melt just a little bit. Oh, it smells and looks phenomenal. My parsley, you only need a couple of tablespoons. Get that all in there. Smells so, oh. Okay, hot though. Small smidge of black pepper and salt, not much. Not much salt at all. And now we're gonna add the cooked pasta. It's going to be one crowded pan, but we'll make it work. And some of the starchy cooking water. Let's start with half. Give that a good stir. Take your time. Stir everything from the bottom up. And I also got my cheese grated. I went ahead and grated it so that I get it, I could have it ready. And that is going to make, that's going to be a part of the sauce as well. Just give that a stir. That looks good. I just want to do a little more cheese. You want like a half a cup at this point. And then of course you can serve more on the side when you go ahead and serve it. You know I will. But I want a good half a cup in total. Give that a stir. You can hear it bubbling. You can see, you see the juices back there? Under there? That's going to be, that's basically your sauce. And it's so good and it's so simple. I just love this so much. I'm going to add just the last bit. So in total you'll need, I would say, about three quarters of a cup of the starchy cooking water. Now at this point, turn this off, put a lid on, and let it sit for about 
a little less than five minutes, but about five minutes. What that does is all that sauce just adheres to the pasta and coats it beautifully. And then I'm gonna clean up, get myself a plate, and get ready for tasting. I love this. Look how lovely and shiny the pasta is. It's got that sauce perfectly coating it. I just love this. Mm. Nice modest portion before lunch, because that's just how I roll, folks. I need a little bit of everything. I need the sausage. Okay, this is kind of becoming a pain. There you go. There's my artichokes, pasta, sausage. Get on there. It's hot though, so give me a minute. Smells so good. I can smell the fennel in the sausage. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. One of my all time favorites. And it's so simple. Mmm. The pasta is perfectly cooked. That sauce is so light, yet you get like the toasty, salty bites from the sausage. And that artichoke, it's crispy on the outside, but it leaves such a beautiful, like, subtle taste in the back of your mouth. It's just, it's to die for. You have to make this. Go to lauraintheKitchen.com to get the written recipe. I hope you enjoy it as much as we do. Let me know some of your favorite family favorites. Leave them down below. I would love to be able to recreate them for you. Hope you enjoy spending time with me and I'll see you next time. Bye.